Hello friend, I am Samadhi back with a new tutorial video regarding soil mechanics. For better understanding shear strength of soil, you have to understand Mohr circle. Why? This question is and why? Because when you go to the site, then if luckily you are posted in the laboratory and if you are find out the what is the shear strength then you you have to perform few tests like triaxial test lab test wind shear test sometime confined test continuing this test you have to find out what is the failure of soil and for understanding this failure of soil you have to draw this mode cycle this mode cycle this mode cycle because without mode cycle it not possible not possible so that is why understanding the shear strength of soil you have to understand mode circle now choice is your whether you skip this video or watch this video this is your choice okay so in this video i am briefly talk about more cycle number 2 few main terminology like that principal stress major principal stress minor principal stress and number 3 few important perspective which we will need in next up upcoming video so without further delay let's get start the video by the way if you are new in my channel subscribe the channel press the bell icon for never miss an update because i am coming with this types of video almost every day so let's start about the mohr cycle see mohr cycle what so what is this basically thing before talking about the mohr cycle i want to share something suppose this is a body okay and in this body every plane they are acting normal stress and along with this in every plane there will acting shear stress okay ye sigma 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 to ye jo combination ban gaya stress combination so up to certain extent these body will fail in a particular plane so how should we know what is the plane of failure so in our strength of material things there are several analytic process but it is uh, you can say it is time consuming or you have to memorize the formula otherwise you have to do derivation derivation is very lengthy very lengthy whatever i didn't go any deriv uh, derivation in here but what happen the scientist more introduce a circle from this circle you have to find you have to uh, put this coordinate sigma tau the coordinate then you will find major principal stress minor principal stress maximum shear stress and that whole time consuming thing the whole time consuming thing convert to the 5 minutes thing so after that revolution strength of material soil mechanics any kind of mechanics where we have to talk about the biaxial stresses we blindly follow the mode cycle i mean sorry mode circle okay i hope little bit is clear so 
understanding mode cycle circle you have to understand few terminology few terminology okay first terminology so first terminology as we are belong to three dimension structure system so there must be acting sigma x sigma y sigma z theek hai and both are 90 degree to each other so this phenomenon known as orthogonal number 2 in mode cycle you find a sum plane where you find sigma x you find sigma y or better you can say sigma 1 sigma 2 but in this plane but in that plane tau equal to 0 i mean cs is 0 that particular plane that particular plane known as a principal plane and the stresses corresponding to principal plane is known as a your principal stress so if this principal stress sigma 1 greater than sigma 2 then you can say sigma 1 is known as major principal stress and sigma 2 is your minor principal stress ठीक है but as we belongs in three dimensional system there will be sigma 3 that sigma 3 is known as intermediate principal stress but what happens in our soil mechanics as we are very concerned about two dimensional structure so we generally dealing with sigma 1 and sigma 2 there is no concern about sigma 3 okay so as from biaxial stress sigma equal to sigma x plus sigma y by 2 plus sigma x minus sigma y by 2 cos 2 alpha minus tau xy sin 2 alpha and tau equal to tau equal to your sigma x minus sigma y by 2 sin 2 alpha minus tau xy cos 2 alpha and someone ask you what is the resultant force and resultant force or resultant stress equal to sigma square plus tau square okay but in mode cycle in mode cycle in most of the exam they ask you what is the coordinate of mode cycle what is the radius of mode cycle ready coordinate of mode cycle e sigma x plus sigma y by 2 to 0 and radius of mode cycle e is sigma x minus sigma y by 2 tau x that is the radius of mode cycle if someone ask you what is the maximum shear stress tau max same tau max equal to underscore sigma x minus sigma y by 2 whole square minus tau x y square that is the max value of tau max so this is all about your mode cycle but if now we apply the mode cycle at shear strength of soil 
then in that case sigma x should be sigma 1 sigma y should be sigma 3 and tau xy equal to 0 so for soil mechanics purpose if you are correlate with shear strength of soil then the formula sigma equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 2 by 2 plus sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by sigma 3 by 2 sigma 1 minus sigma 2 by 2 sine 2 alpha ok and if someone asks you what is the coordinate of force vector for soil then coordinate equal to sigma 1 plus sigma 3 by 2 0 and what is the radius what is the radius of this motor cycle that is sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 square minus and that is also value of tau max so hum kya sakte tau max equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 so aap kya sakte ho tau max equal to difference between two principal stress by 2 jahan se the both sara uncountable question aata hai jahan se uncountable question aata hai so yes uh, that is all about your motor cycle in perspective of shear strength of soil jahan pe maine baat kiya how motor cycle come into our soil mechanics and strength of material picture then we talk about the terminology that related with our in our soil mechanics and then i talk about how you that motor cycle you connect with shear strength of soil and finally i talk about this beautiful thing the tau max equal to sigma 1 minus sigma 3 by 2 i think there is no doubt if there is doubt do come and comment you know, i will definitely get back to you if you have learned something new so do like the video share the video because you like inspire me and motivate me a lot still if you are watching my video subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for never miss an update because i am coming with this types of video almost every day thank you for watching this video more knowledge more opportunity